It is never an easy task for reporters to bring to you stories of family tragedies, particularly when it involves the death of a child. But in the purview of what we do here at Love News, we bring to you the continuation of a story we brought to you last night regarding the death of a mother and son. It was a highway incident that occurred just before 5 o'clock on Monday evening in the vicinity of Biscayne Village of the Belize District near Mile 27 on the Philip Goldson Highway. 35-year-old Raul Magania Jr., a businessman of a flamboyant street address in Ladyville Village, Belize District, was driving his Toyota Land Cruiser, returning home from a business errand in Orange Walk, when he encountered trouble with his vehicle. Love News visited Magania at his family home today, who admitted to us that the reality of yesterday's incident is yet to sink in. He kept him so, I mean, I'm at the home, and I made to try to get rid of one vehicle I'm supposed to carry the orange rock, so we decided to carry this vehicle on orange rock, we drop it, and turn back, and on the way coming down, when we the drive right before Mile 27, we made a talk and I kind of said, feel something funny, so all we decide to try to pull over. But by the time I try to attempt to pull over, the tire completely explodes for me. And I guess where the vehicle high and land on the rim side, the whole vehicle just can swerve completely across the highway. And it may about to hit one lamppost. I try to avoid the lamppost and that time where the vehicle starts to turn over. To be honest with you, I don't even know when they get out of the car. I realize I know they said to me when the car don't stop. And I turn over and I look to my side for them to haul off any. And I noticed they never in the car beside me no more. So me and the passenger that about come out of the car and we sat scream for and I look for her. And that the one I find her like well five feet beside me in the bush. She may look like a dead by impact and um well the baby. The baby may try gas for here, but I couldn't do nothing for her. I try to move on. Other people when me did it tell me no no no. Be honest, I still can't cope with it and I, I the reality not hit me. I feel like I could go home right now with my door and I'm at home. According to Magania, his 28-year-old girlfriend of nine years, Lisa Ling Li, was the best thing that ever happened to him, as she was not only his significant other, but she was his business partner as well. He added that they not only had plans for them, but they were working on a future for their son, Raul Magania III, who also perished in the incident. He born here three years ago. He born January, three years ago, and um, my wife 28 at the moment. And other than that, we are a loving couple that we, we get along. We had high hopes. The only baby was she had high hopes for the child. I recently buy one house. Our intention was to make sure the house paid out so my son have a house that he own. I mean, when I used to leave my house, my son actually point on the house at three years old. I used to holler, Daddy, my house. And now, he gone. We had a pawn shop together. We had to close on together because of, um, you know, financial purposes. I mean, she... That, that woman was one of the best things ever happened to me in my life. If not the best, she and my son. I mean, everything I did, we did it together as a couple. We plan everything together. We work everything together. And I just still can't believe they're gone. Traveling in the vehicle at the time were five passengers. Love News managed to get a view of the vehicle that they were in, which is currently being housed on the compound of the Ladyville Police Station. And while it is indeed a tragic incident left in the hands of the police to investigate further, there was another traffic incident that occurred in the very same area earlier today involving a blue police van that was transporting prisoners. Luckily, there were no fatalities to report in this incident, but there were several passengers that were injured, however minor. Arriving on the scene just minutes after the accident occurred, Love News learned that the police vehicle rear-ended a gold-colored Mercury Mariner SUV that held three children, ages 3, 7, and 10, along with a woman and its driver, Emerson Michael. Love News spoke to Michael, who gave us a first-hand account of what transpired on that thoroughfare this morning, just before 10 o'clock. Approximately like 9 o'clock this morning, I was taking my kids to a Biscayne government school. And the fact that my kids were near, I was first, And I, I, was, I was approaching the entrance of the school, so make it even worse I'm driving slow and this horn blowing I looked in the mirror I saw I saw the police van you know because they see the big police right in front of it and um when I glanced in the rear view mirror after I heard the horn and I glanced in the rear view mirror I saw the van I guess that's after the and it didn't stop so the accident and everybody 
they took everybody out of the van. I saw there was several, I say, probably over 10 prisoners, and some of them were complaining of pain in the foot. I saw some of them limping, some of them holding their hand, their side, and stuff like that. And other police vehicles came afterwards and uh, transported the prisoners to Orange Rock because that's where they were heading to. They were heading to Orange Rock, so they just continued transporting them to Orange Rock. In the vehicle with me was my mom and three of my kids. Uh, after, the act, after the incident, uh, my mom uh, sustained some major back pain. And one of my son has a swollen neck. And the youngest one has his head swollen. So, the car yes, they, they were transported to the car. He's now by ambulance. 35-year-old Michael had just gotten custody of his children. And today would have been their first day of class at the Biscayne Government School. There were seven prisoners in the police van that were being taken to Corozal for a Supreme Court session. Love News understands that the 11 passengers in the police vehicle sustained minor injuries and were taken to the Orange Walk Hospital for medical attention. Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.